we're not dead. Just just saying that now, we're not dead, and we haven't been turned into liches. What? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm just I thought saying we were dead. I don't know. Like that might be the assumption. Why am I living? What is life? Why am I here, man? Like I don't know. What, what happened? It's one of life's it, great mysteries. It it's so dark. It's so dark. It's so pitless, and yeah. Anywho, uh, um, glad to be back, folks. Uh, and Jordan's here with me. Been a while since the two of us yeah, have been like, on a video. You know, I'm stable, even though I'm not the one recording half the shit anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what you get from Walmart. Anywho. Um, anywho, so this game that we're playing is actually something for that's relatively new on First Impressions. Now, I've done the uh, early access video with Deedlet in the Wonder Labyrinth, but... This game in particular caught my eye with its fluid animation and Devil May Cry style combat. It's called Vernal's Edge, or Vernal's Edge, however it's pronounced. And it's okay, currently... I'm confused by the fact you say Devil May Cry style combat, Well, it's 2D. Well, that's the thing, is that it's like 2D Devil May Cry in the sense of like, there's combos, there's juggling. It's very action heavy, on top of being a Metroidvania. Oh. So... Okay, we both appreciate that. Yeah, people will probably like this a lot. A lot of combo videos will be made. Uh, that one person that uploads GIFs of really smooth, slow-motion animations will really enjoy this, too. So I asked the dev about it, and they're like, oh, yeah, the demo's around 30 to 45 minutes. I thought, would you like it if we made a video about your demo? And he was like, or they were like, hell the hell yeah. So here we are. We are doing a demo video on Vernal's Edge. Now, this game is currently on Kickstarter, and at the time of recording this, it currently has only five days left of its Kickstarter. So... So it's a people. Yeah, and it's nearly reached the end of its funding. It's just... Oh, hello. Finding using items. Uh, okay, tutorials. Left D-pad, right D-pad, game pads. Okay. And because of this is a pre-alpha build of the game, or at the very least the demo... Uh, there are going to be some things that the v developers will have to fix. For instance, uh, when the game eventually gets a bit more... I don't know how to put it. When the demo eventually gets a bit more complete, I would appreciate the prospect of having the demo be on a platform that's more readily available than having to get at it through a link via Kickstarter. I mean, I don't think that's really a huge problem because you're already on the Kickstarter anyway to support it, but... Um, yeah, I get what you mean. It's just... Uh, well, I will say the actual thing they probably should repair is make the gamepad start working immediately. Yeah. Like, rather than having to get to a certain point before the freaking gamepad activates because I don't want to pull my keyboard out. Yeah, exactly. Like... <laughs> Flowing controller right here on my desk. It's yellow. It yeah, exactly. Happen. I have this cool floral pattern one that I got a while back at a con. I want to use it, but you know, yeah, it's not to any fault of Arizona sweet tea. You know, it, that one also makes me happy. Yeah, and um, I want to mention that any criticisms we bring here is not going to be out of any sort of malice for the developer or this game because this game looks like it has a lot of potential. I mean. Jordan, oh, you're yeah, seeing no. this. You're seeing this animation, right? Look at this pixel art. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, and so I far, that, that was like the first thing you brought up with me. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna make sure we don't saying it. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's just um. It was as good as, bad as any. So I was just like, eh, yeah, I'm just gonna throw it in. I'm I'm not so jaded that I have to make everything a negative review. <laughs> right. Exactly. Like nothing has like, to be you know what? super I like negative. The little, like wind in the grass there. Like it's pretty nice. Yeah, and of course the main character here with their running animation is pretty cool. And the also one thing I do appreciate there's life bars. Yes, that way we at least know when the enemies will go down. Well, not only that, but like anytime you get juggle, like. Enemies can feel super tanky, so I just like knowing, like, if I'm actually doing any damage. Like, just having that there kind of is nice for me. <laughs> okay, I like the magic thing you're doing. That, that's kind of cool. Yeah, this is pretty and fun. Right, it gives you a rating system, so it, it is kind of double my crash. Yeah, I, ju I, just I just noticed that there was a big C yeah. next to my combo meter thing, so yeah, this yeah, is most you know, certainly like... asking for me to be a badass. 
Yeah, they're, they're, they're saying stop sucking. We want you to get some B, baby. Yes. Let's see. Poise. Blue orbs above the enemy's head show the enemy's poise. You cannot stun an enemy until all their poise is depleted. Oh, we going straight Dark Souls 1 now. I'm cool with that. I'm confident a lot of people will be cool with that. There you go. So... Okay, now he's... Okay, so the blue bar is like recovering poise. And it recovers as like they fly and land. So you'll have to like land your attacks before that bar depletes. Right. Or... And I noticed it looks like you're doing a lot of just like quick slashes. They're saying you can charge attacks. So maybe oh, that's... That. Oh, looks like I can. Yeah, oh, they said like oh. charging attacks allows you to automatically destroy poise. That sounds super convenient. Also, who is this? Uh, hot chick and heavy armor, maybe? I don't know. Well, Jordan loves his hot chicks and heavy armor. Can't I expect really to see do. someone heavy else armor here. Heavy armor is like my favorite thing. Yes. That, that's kind of cool. I didn't expect to see someone else here. Okay, so... Growth Cataclysm, huh? Or Catalyst. Cattle. I'm after the Growth Catalyst. Do you know where it, where it is? I see. Do you see yeah, the door I behind me? I know America is Cataclysm right now, but, you know, don't, <laughs> don't make that into the fun video game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Just drop the pretense immediately. At the time it, of this recording... Yeah, at the time of this recording... Pretty... Yeah, America <laughs> is on fire. At some areas in the U.S., literally. <laughs> literally. So, yeah, now we're after a growth catalyst. However, it's locked by the three keystones located throughout this facility. Unfortunately, I don't know where any of them are, but perhaps we can help each other find them. Ooh. Oh, and I did see that uh, the game did get funded, but there are more uh, funding goals, one of which is apparently going to be a second playable character. Well, here's a good opportunity to know a character I guess you could play as. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, I mean, I would like the heavy armor. Like, I can't dash, but, like, I can you're... maybe smash into those pillars right there and just make the chest fall down. Yes. Or you could just straight up be able to tank certain enemy attacks without any issue. Like, uh, like if your attacks all have super armor. Pretty much, like, you know, that, that would be an option. That's or fun. make it to where all uh, quick attacks are, like, a half charge. So I can like, fast fall? It's slower, but a lot harder. <laughs> Actually, I would only probably play the game as that character because I really hate juggling things. <laughs> ah, that's probably why you're not a fan of Devil May Cry. Dude, I really hate Devil May Cry. Even though, you know, we went through five and I had such a good time and... Yeah, no, like, I get that you love it. And honestly, I love the soundtracks. Like, I play the games just for the freaking soundtracks and, like, the ambiance. Like, I love the level design. I love the enemy design. Honestly, Devil May Cry has most of the things I want in an action game. Well, but its the... combat system just feels super clunky, long-winded, and it feels like it's take forever to kill. <laughs> Not unless you know what you're doing. Yeah, well, I don't want to spend 40 hours figuring out what I'm doing. I want to be able to, like, pull my shotgun out and take down half of a health bar. Not tickle them with pellets. But what if the pellets end up being able to take down a health bar and then puts you up to level 98 in fucking Bloody Palace? Ah, so they're not just background elements. Okay, well, I like the little nails. That's fun. Yeah, little background elements that can act as uh, fun little platforming segments. Uh, like, you can hang onto that sign over there, I think, so that's cool. There we go. Wall jumping feels a tad it's awkward. It's a little uh, spinny thing, the bell. Junk. Garbage. Potion. Herbicide. Herbicide. You can kill plants now. Yes. It, now you're... put it in that thing. Yeah, that seems to... Yep, pretty evident. Yep. That's what the game wanted me to do. Yep. It's time to kill plants. Sorry, Captain Planet. <laughs> yeah. Well, are you really sorry, though, for Captain Planet? Not really. <laughs> Nobody's sorry for Captain Planet. Not even Captain Planet. Okay, so I don't fall through these platforms. And this game is also touted as a Metroidvania. Which so... is one of the best genres ever. 
oh god, yeah, fucking Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I'm playing a new, I'm playing a game called Minoria that's a Metroidvania that's really good. Just, oh. Very cool. Metroidvanias are awesome. Press Y to throw out an ethereal sword. If the sword sticks in an enemy, press the button again and again, plus a direction to use a pulse attack, consuming your pulse meter. Hmm. Press the button again, plus no direction to call the sword back. Wait, am I having a summon swords mechanic? Looks like. Toss that thing. Okay. So, yeah, returns the sword. Ooh! Okay, so I do have a means of a ranged attack. It's just, um, depending on the direction that I have for the, you know, sword to be in there. That's interesting. Yeah. And it looks like I can only have one sword in an enemy at a time, and I don't want to blow my load on in a prediction too uh, early, but maybe an upgrade in the game could allow me to be able to shoot multiple swords of this nature. Okay, so that thing has two blue balls. You might want to use a charge attack on it. Yep, that's what I'm about to do. Okay, because I was like, that last one, you, you didn't even charge it. Yeah, he goes down a lot faster if you charge him. Oh, God, first. yeah. Stun the enemies and take them down, just like Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah, yeah. Or the Trials of Mana Remake. A lot of remakes. I gotta play both of those. I yep. play both of those. You gotta play in both of those, you mean? Yep. PS5 was just announced, and if it's fully backwards compatible, I might go oh, ahead and grab God. one of those. That might influence a lot of day one purchases. And this is also yeah, going to come to consoles when it comes out. It's fully backwards compatible. I'm hoping it is. Oh, God. Okay, you are on, like, one hit of health, my buddy. I know. I'm just trying to get the chart. Oh. Okay, uh, get good, Scrub. <laughs> scrub you, I'm not a scrub, you're the scrub. You scrub so hard, you make my toilet shiny. I mean, Mr. Clean is like, you know, a hero to all of America, so I don't know how that's an insult. True. Like, let's play it. He does look for the that revolution for... Where he grabs, Whoa, like, mop. He's doing a little dance in the living room. Like, that was a meme for a while for a reason. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people like staring at Mr. Clean's butt. Yep. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's better to at least be honest, you know? Yep. Mr. Clean, baby. Ooh, nice. Okay, so it looks like the swords, eth the ethereal sword attacks only affect one enemy. The flying one? Well, no, I mean like one enemy at a- Oh! Okay, so different inputs equal different attacks for the ethereal sword when it goes into an enemy. Yeah, they, you just hit a direction and then hit the button again and it'll do a different attack. And then if you hit the button without a direction, it returns to you. Yeah. So you get like the initial hit and then you can get your sword back to do something else yeah although for some reason my sword's not back right now maybe it's because i used up all my yeah. pulse gauge okay i'm experimenting too much I'm trying to figure yeah, out the video yeah. game i think you need to find a formula that works which is hit them hard stun them and then just ground pound them into paste yeah pretty much but i guess experimentation is never really also, a bad I thing i love the fact you got like that metal man disc yeah, I think... Yeah, that's one of her spells. Okay, so the spells also change via direction inputs. This is like 2D Double May Cry. Moves change via your directional inputs. Interesting. Yeah, I actually really like that spell. It's pretty cool. Also, I like that you can damage an enemy by knocking another enemy into it. Like, you just did that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that'll be good for crowd control purposes. In fact, a lot of this is pretty good for crowd control purposes. Yeah, uh, I, I really hope there's, like, a horde mode, maybe. Oh, God, like, mercenaries mode? I don't even know what you're talking about with that. But that's yeah, a probably. that's a Resident Evil thing, which is pretty contemporaneous since uh, Resident Evil 8 was announced. Ah, uh, okay. But... Yeah, Resident Evil 7 was awesome. <laughs> yeah, so... 8 follows in the trend. 
Aha, that's what it needs so to what's be the... S, but oh, be so the down spell is like uh, one of the shields from Mega Man as well. Yeah, like that's what I'm noticing. Some of these spells remind me of Mega Man, and like you know, I'm a huge Mega Man fan, so I'm just like, dude, these are cool. Oh, well, looks like this game is might be something a little bit for you then. Yeah. I'm okay turning robot master abilities into magic. That That's just fun. <laughs> that and also is Metroidvania movement upgrade. Or not movements, but spells. That'd be pretty... Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty and, good. Yeah, one, one game I would absolutely adore to be made reality <sighs> would be a Metroid Cross Mega Man game. Oh, God. A Metroidvania Mega Man? Like, imagine if a Mega Man X game was a Metroidvania. Dude, um, that would be... Probably better than Mega Man X Command RPG that we got. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that one. I remember renting that a long time ago and not understanding what was going on. Dude, the first time I played it, I was like eight. And yeah, I never got through it originally just because I was like in the desert and I couldn't figure out what I was doing at that point. I was just running around blind getting into random battles. <laughs> so I remember spending like ages trying to find the ultimate armor for x <laughs> just because i was like i know it's in here i want black zero <laughs> and uh that was literally all i did for like a month oh okay so that's why it's set to the d-pad so um before we started recording i changed the uh, movements to be on d-pad on controller because when it comes to controllers and metroidvanias for me i always feel more comfortable playing 2d games with a d-pad it's just i mean okay it feels way more natural to me, and if you're ever gonna, I mean, and if you're gonna do fighting game inputs for special moves like Castlevania Symphony of the Night or Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, gamepad feels a bit better to be able to pull off those inputs, in my opinion. I, mean, I but, agree wholeheartedly, but also I believe that if you're ever doing fighting game inputs, you should not play a controller. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes. It's a bit... Well, well, it's not like there's going to be stick inputs for uh, Metroidvanias unless you're a really dedicated type of speedrunner. I mean, I might use X-Patter and now have to play this game with my fight stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, wait for this. Make the left and right uh, are you gonna be, pad inputs. Are you going to uh, become... Like, uh, are you going to become, like, one of those weird speedrunners that's able to beat Dark Souls with a Guitar Hero controller? Honestly... I follow, like, three YouTube channels that do that. Fair <laughs> point. can love it. Yeah, yeah it is like, a bit I unusual. Totally or to be Bloodborne with a, a, a DDR pad. Honestly, I want to do that just because I don't know if Amanda's told you, but I'm an actual DDR junkie. <laughs> ah. So, so I would totally do that. So did you have a secret smile on E3 when those Just Dance people with the, with the panda costumes were dancing on stage? Not really, I hate Just Dance, because, like, my thing is Just Dance relies on motion controls or a camera, so, like, I feel like, yeah, my whole body's moving, but it's, like, easy mode, because they don't let you fail a song for the most part. Ah. Like, as long as you're going through the motions, you get a score. Okay. Where, like, VR, if you put it on too hard of a difficulty, and you start missing steps because you don't know how to like do a double tap with your heel before switching to another arrow. You know, if you're not doing like two arrows per foot and you're trying to like to use one foot to hit three or something, which I've seen people do, <laughs> you're going to mess up. You're not going to play at a higher level and the game will literally fail you and just take your money. <laughs> it's like, it, it literally tells you, get good scrub because this is a game where you need to actually be able to perform the inputs with your body. If you can't do it, you do it again. <laughs> right. You're going to be until you get good at it. And I don't know why. That, that's like the thing that got me super into it. Because I was like, okay, this is actually hard. My heart rate is going up. And my legs are burning. And it's like the most fun exercise ever. Like, it's the best cardio workout on Earth. <laughs> Yeah, sounds like it. Whereas, like, other more action games like this are just telling you to get good by trying to understand the mechanics and such. Yeah. And, I mean, that's the push for me in, like, VR. Because I want to get, like, one of those working pads where, like, you can have an omnidirectional, like, 
input with your feet that moves the character on screen. Would you like to but, play Sword and Sorcery, that one uh, medieval-style game where you can actually, you know, start a bandit encounter and be able to kill bandits? Yeah, I mean, it looks a little clunky to me, but it, it is pretty cool. I've watched some gameplay of it. But to me, like, actually, if I could hook up, like, my dance mat and do, like, my um, pump dance mat because it has diagonals and the normal DDR stuff on it, <laughs> like, I would just go ahead and use that for movement. That way it's kind of like I'm walking, even though I'm, like, stationary. So like, I'm just, you know, standing ah, in the center. Still, that answers my question. Press forward to move forward. The game answered the game answered a question that I was just about to ask. Oh, what was your question? I was gonna ask on the game if whether or not the style meter would count outside of those like regular enemy encounter rooms, and turns out it does. So yeah. you can build a style meter on regular enemies that are just out in the world. So again, as a guy who loves speedrunning, this could be pretty cool as a game, like if you find the most optimum route to try and maintain an A rank through the entire run. Oh god, yeah, like I like I could see it now. One hundred percent speed run, a all A rank playthrough or S rank, depending like, on how high it goes. Go ahead and make like a harder difficulty mode, like maybe a one hit kill for you and enemy. Oh god. where essentially you have to chain all of your attacks while dashing and if you do like the entire run properly you can maintain like your a or your s rank for the entire run oh god that'll that'll be brutal dude that is the only mode i want to play on this game now that i've thought of it <laughs> the, the ability to just have one hit kills on both enemies and yourself yes like that sounds perfect to me well to me that sounds like a nightmare and you're talking to a guy yeah. that barely was able to beat Sons of Sparta mode on Devil May Cry 5. Yeah, no, to me, that's like, dude, this is the perfect challenge. And there's enough save points, so to me, what I would counter it as, you have unlimited continues. Holy shit. Uh, but, you is know, there... you just have to make it to the save point. I'm gonna check real really fast if there's any good. kind of parry button. Because I'm confident there is. It would, would be wise to learn if you can block. <laughs> Key items, spells, tips, contextual attacks, boom, uh, wall jump, parries, press down right, right before an enemy hits you to parry an incoming attack. Okay, so it's a good thing you have this on the d-pad. So, I'm hitting down on the d-pad, but I'm not seeing a parry. It's, it probably well, got moved to it a... It might be a context input. Block, left there we go. Actually, I like that way more, to have it on a bumper instead of, like, down on the D-pad. Well, that's a block, not a parry. Well, I have to block we'll at the right moment more. to parry. Like, just go down there and fight that golem. Yeah, that's what I'm about to test. If he tries to pummel you in the face, and, like, you can... Yeah, okay, so it allows you to block, but you're not able to parry with the LB. You'll have to still be down. Oh, that was so cool! I do like the flashiness of the of the attacks. That's I love flashy pixel animation. As somebody that grew up with Game Boy Advance Fire Emblem, that is absolutely my jam. That is my smuckers. Yeah, I do love the fluidity of the animation. I'm actually curious how accurate the hitboxes are to the animations, like timing. Well, that's probably uh, something I'm that not they'll really seeing anything that tells me like it's off. Like that's one of the key things I'm worried about. And right, that, that, good. that like, if you see an enemy with a spear, you're gonna wonder if the hitbox for the spear is gonna be wider than the actual spearhead. Yeah, like, I don't know why that's something that really bothers me. <laughs> with sprite art, like, I like things being, like, directly on model. Ah, well, that's that'd be kind of tough to pull off in a pixel game, but... Well, it isn't, it isn't like... I know it can be hard, and I'm not a game developer, so, you know. Yeah, I mean, I take any that. criticisms we have with a great... Oh, hello, you can't swim. Uh, take any oh, criticisms... Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, take any criticisms we have as just, you know, players, you know. Yeah. We, we obviously aren't experts in the field of game development. We don't have any real, you know, know-how on how to say, you know, fix certain solutions, but... At the very least, we can provide input on what we think would be the most convenient to a player. Yeah. 
Okay, so I would, yep, smack Ooh, hello. all of those. Smack them. Ah, that blocks water. And oh. that probably be, that pro probably, blah, blah, blah. God, I can't speak today. That probably means I can go down here now, and I can. Aha. Oh, there's a, like, X parasite up there or something. It is a spire. Oh, skill. Some kind of spire. So it's a new type of spell from the looks of it. Yeah, it's a new spell. Okay, so okay. spire. Call upon spire of light to pierce your enemies from above. Oh! Okay, so that's going to be the up input for you. Yes. Yes, it should. Okay, so you do acquire new spells, and you can set them to your directional inputs so that, you know, you have a loadout that you like the most for your spells. I like that. That's actually no, that's really nice. Idea. Because yes, yes, it is. customizability is what makes games like Symphony of the Night so fun. This room, when you fell into it for some reason, I don't know why, I just got like a big feeling like Braid. Braid? Yeah, it does feel yeah, very Braid-like. Braid. Speaking of somebody that's never played Braid. <laughs> huh. It's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not good at puzzle games, but like, it's cool. I played it a few times. Never beat it, but I don't know why, just seeing the clouds and then like this color of green that's kind of like on the rocks i'm just like i don't know why it just made me think of braid <laughs> color green on the rocks sounds like a mixed drink color green on the rocks now that you say it out loud sounds like a mixed drink i mean i guess we got a request for a bartender sometime i guess so like hey dude i want you to get green on the rock they probably just think you're high if you say blue on the rocks, then maybe... High. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh my god, that would be... Uh, or maybe something. they'd or maybe they'd look at you funny and go like, Sir, that drink has been prohibited for 70 years. One of the keystones. Well, like, hey, oh, found it. <laughs> Alright, so I found a keystone. Okay, now bust it open. I did. Oh. I thought you would have just like stolen the thing and brought it back to the door. No, it looks more like an activation thing. So from the looks of this, this seems like one of those worlds that is both sci-fi and fantasy in terms of its design. Like, look at the main character's sword. That is not a typical sword design. Well, I'm kind of thinking like it's a gladius of some kind. But it looks like it has a hole in the middle. Uh, oh, I see it now. Like, most... Time, I'm kind of seeing the gray. I'm not seeing through it. What? So Hold I was just on. thinking she had like a really chunky hand guard and then you had a broad blade sticking out of it. I was like, could be a gladius or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh! 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 What? I like that spell! Oh, I like you actually used the light spell. I, I actually use used the, the new spire spell. Me likey. Me likey very much. Oh. That was like All right. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, a lot of these are very useful. Like the down spell is pretty is going to be pretty useful for whenever a boss is in like a vulnerable state and you just want to lay the damage on thick. And that's thick with two C's by the way. Because yes. Extra Thick. Extra thick. Sadly, I can't do an Aku impersonation. Yeah, no, I can't either. That's why I didn't even try. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I'm just gonna go down an Aku and be like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. If I could do an Aku voice. Close yeah. enough. Yeah. Alright, so I got a mana power. Dude, so... I'm still going with one of my friends who can do a perfect Skeletor. I'm just like, fucking bastard. <laughs> And it looks like using health potions is actually super quick. Health and mana stuff. So, yeah. I forgot if I lost track of this conversation before, but um, because I moved the directional input to be the D-pad instead of the control stick, the control stick now at controls the uh, wheel of usable items on the bottom right. So, I have to be very careful of whether or not I'm going to accidentally hit up and use a potion when I don't mean to. I meant to there, but, you know, in the future. But you can adjust. You are able to adjust your controls. So, I think there will be people that might be able to swap the controls to be like, I prefer to swip, uh, swipe through my 
excuse me, uh, prefer to swipe through my usable items using the deep or the uh, the shoulder buttons, and you'll be able to do so. Yeah, that would probably be me. I, I'd probably set items to shoulder buttons. Just I guess to... block to the trigger. Yeah, block to trigger or blocked, or if you want to really go Dante moveset from Devil May Cry, you put your parries onto uh, your B button and or circle or whichever gamepad you end up using. Because for anybody that know knows the Royal Guard moveset, yeah, that's going to feel supernatural. Yeah, I remember pretty much the only way I got through DMC3 was Rocket Launcher and Agnes and Rundara. <laughs> yeah, I... I haven't played DMC3 in a while, but I desperately want to play the special edition that's now on uh, Switch, since it lets you freestyle Switch. Yeah, I mean, I played the HD remake on the 360. That's how I played all the games for the first time. Okay, so up here is the uh, chest. Yeah. So you went ah. downstairs, and you went to... Uh, okay, so now I guess okay, I can probably go to what... I remember seeing... There are probably other doors that unlock via these uh, runes or something like that. So, hmm. Unless I'm wrong and I'm just kind of wandering in circles. I think you're wandering in circles just a little. Okay. It's fine, though. That's how we learn. Right, you're having fun. It gives us something to do, so I'm yeah. not upset. Yeah, I mean, in the end, content's content, and we get to show off more of this cool-looking game. Back that guy right in the face, did you? Also, it looks like... It also, it looks like Devil May Cry, I might actually be able to enemy step, which is, you know, being able to jump on the head of an enemy. Okay, just try that. Even though you're at half health, like, just kill this one dude and then do it to the other. Yep, I can. I can totally jump. I can totally enemy step. If I can. Okay, I remember that being a thing in DMC3. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right, so yeah, looks like. Oh, that's ooh, ooh, ooh! I just love the metal deflate. That is great. That's a spicy meatball combo. First impressions: spicy meatball combo acquired. That should be the name for an achievement in this game. <laughs> But, you know, they'll probably make it a harder combo than that. <laughs> yeah, it has to be It has to be an achievement made when you go to, like, A or S in terms of your combo meter. Yeah. It's like, pull off three or four hit combo finisher on an A or something. Yeah, or be able to kill multiple enemies in a, while maintaining a string of S or something. Yeah. Which would be great for that one hit kill mode. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. It, it, like... Risk versus reward, that's the best system for it. Yeah. The only thing that I'm having a bit of trouble figuring out is the wall jump here, because you do jump up a small amount. Just trying to get you the don't hang have, of like, it. Kick off of the wall. That's like the thing. Yeah, like Mega Man X or Metroid or games like that, where it's like you get a kick off instead of you get a kick up. But I guess maybe you, with directional input, you could do a kick. Uh, up to? Uh, yes, you can. Okay, so you just gotta be a bit quick with your input. So you can go up, or you can go out. It's just, you gotta, mm. you gotta actually hold out via the direction you're going from on the wall. Okay. I'm probably not explaining that very well, but... Well, no, I get it, because, like, I play a lot of Mega Man games. So. Right, right. Like, I understand that, because Mega Man X, perfect comparison. That suffocating, that scaffolding was well, practically crumbling beneath me. Crumbling beneath you. You're wearing armor. Well, I mean, yeah. When you're wearing a car, you pretty much are going to be having things collapse under you. Also, she just yeah, called. She just basically. called this person a coward. <laughs> nice. Okay, that is keystone number two. Sweet. Oh, hello. Hey, battle arena. I don't know why, for some reason, I'm thinking the world ends with you. Maybe it's because of it has more verticality than the previous battle rooms. Yeah, I am getting some weird vibes. Like, I don't know why. But I'm, I'm liking it. At least it's getting me to think of other games I've played. Ooh, yeah, I can change the direction that the sword goes to! That's that's neat. So it doesn't go out in just a straight line. It can go out... 
Attack these mofos, dude! Like I like that. That dude, was you awesome. You, that's you awesome. saw that, right? I was just straight up yeah. screw attacking them. Dude, that that might be the coolest move in the game. Okay, I'm out of mana. Okay, need to get some mana back. Oh wow, that was big ball energy right there. Holy hell! Well, needless to say, this combat does feel satisfying when you know how to pull something off decently. Or accidentally, yeah, I mean, like I just did there. It's your first time playing, so you don't really know the inputs. Yeah, and also, so it looks, good. also it looks like I get health back from defeating enemies, but maybe only when I... Uh, hmm, maybe that only happens oh, when I... Life. Maybe that only happens when I uh, kill an enemy without losing any health? Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, and it's the door to the top right corner. Top right? So like, yeah, you'll you'll go up there. Okay. Because you were just in there before, but you didn't go through and get the green one. You went down, and then you got the red one. So ah. you gotta go and get the green one now. Gotta love being in a Metroidvania where you can get distracted by anything that's shiny. Well, you know, that's one thing I kind of enjoy about my upbringing. I just, like, memorize world maps in my head. Right. <laughs> If I see someone run through it once, I can probably run through the game a day later. Well, I don't have a per picture perfect memory, but at least I'm doing this. At least, at yeah. least I have Devil May Cry skills. Yeah, I don't have that, so you know, I'll remember the map layouts if you know how to button mash. Oh, <laughs> there it is, it's right yeah. up there. Oh, that's well, right. I was here it. earlier, but I couldn't figure out how to get these platforms to be visible again, so I left. Yeah, you're trying to figure out how to turn on the platforms. Yeah. So I gotta turn on these platforms, but where, oh where, would a switch for that be? So, so far I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Like, the combat feels really nice. Being able to pull off some stylish combos felt amazing. Like, when I was bouncing off the enemies with that weird Vorpal Blade stuff, that felt awesome. Dude, I, I am kind of turned on by that. Like, I love that combo. Yes. That's and cool. I want to learn more about the world and the characters and such, because okay, this does look super interesting. Yeah, just go to left or... Okay. Okay, so I'm seeing these dials... What do I do with the yeah, dials? The dials have to be some. Yeah, like clearly I have to turn them in order to activate the the uh, platforms, but I don't know I how. Do it with a spell. Maybe, or maybe it's something this way. Because I think maybe. I'm maybe I accidentally died this way. Or no, you, no, you that just goes. Yeah, so these I'll just keep exploring down there and to the left because we know that the right path is going to scroll you back up here. Yeah, exactly. But hey, I mean, exploring is how we learn in Metroidvanias. It is. Ah, there it is. This. See, it was it was to the left. And it's a timed thing too, so it's not gonna last forever. Okay, so maybe they're there to just remind you that the clock is ticking. Yes, the, there there is a constant timer reminder, which I like. In case if people are like, how much time's left? Oh no! Uh. Oh god. Wrong way. Well, it's at least I know where the switch is now. Outer loop. Okay, so they force you to go through the whole outer loop area uh, with those blocks. So that way you're not just taking easy shortcuts. Yeah. Okay. And there we are. And you did. Hooray. And that is keystone Good number job. three. I did it. I, I clapped. I clapped when I did it. And the fact that I can enemy step and not get damaged and be able to just say nope to an encounter, that is nice. I like that. Yeah. I I, I don't find it nice that it walked out of the blade. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, so much. Invincibility frames, my dude. You should know uh, that. Yeah. Mr. Big oh, Game Or. Eh. Mr. Eh. Fighting Game Or. How the. Eh. Oh, 
Oh, they're sabotaging Curse me. Curse your inevitable betrayal. Curse your sudden and inevitable betrayal. That was a mess. That, I messed up that take. No, he's getting away. Very slowly. I mean, or no, 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 no. It's like a... It's, it'd be like Duke... It'd be like Duke, Duke Phillips. Gaze into the hypnotic power of my evil eye. Like that. Mm -hmm. oh, just, just, just go. Yeah, don't even fight that thing. Don't yeah, fight that thing. I do not have the best track record on fighting those things. Yeah, I'm like, dude, j just don't. Yeah. Like, this game isn't giving you XP. Just, just go. Yeah. Actually, that's a, probably a good point. Uh, since this has more combat-oriented, you know, combat, like Devil May Cry, does that mean there's there's no traditional level-ups like in other Metroidvanias? Well, like, honestly, if we compare Castlevania or even Metroid, like, those games traditionally don't give you level-ups anyway. It's just items well, that make you more powerful as you progress. Well, true, Metroid doesn't, but Castlevania Symphony of the Night certainly did. Yeah, but... That's not like the roots of the series. Right, like, like the roots Arcade, of those games are not uh, RPGs. Castlevania, Rondo of Blood, uh, Castlevania 1 through 4. <laughs> yeah, but you know, then like, but then when you... Symphony of the Night came around, that's when the RPG-ness of the series started to become a lot more well-known. Yeah, fair, fair, but I don't know. I think like the term Metroidvania is more in the gameplay style of each game, like, finding objects in the environment is a very core component of that, and both of them really focus on using items that help you progress. Right. I get I get what you mean there. It's just... Yeah, it's, like, it's just with... RPG my perception of like, Metroidvanias has been that RPG elements are a thing, and games like Hollow Knight, for instance, don't have RPG elements, so I understand what you mean, that not all of them need that. I'm just saying that that's a commonality when it comes to Metroidvanias. In some cases, yes. I'll agree with you. But yeah, I would definitely use Hollow Knight as an example for what I consider more... Okay, so certain directional input attacks for the uh, strong moves also take out two of those poise meters. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, that is very good to know. In case if you know your enemy timings properly, you'll be able to uh, get an enemy to back off. Yep. Ooh, this music, though. Well, I'll hear it when we publish the video. <laughs> Sorry, that's Discord screen share for you. But, uh, you know, that's actually one of the things I enjoy about uh, that is a... too. They usually break down. That, that was most certainly a suspicious wall. Spring root. Spring, spring root. root, I love this stuff, but it only grows in the spring. I'm going to guess this is like a special heal item. Which Probably. If, which, if that's the case, then I'm saving that. Yeah, because, you know, because you get beaten up in the next room. Yes. I get my ass utterly handed to me. They hand me the platter and say, and just say, how about away? Yep. Oh god, come on, sword. Oh, that god, I love that Vorpal Blade attack so much. That is pretty cool. It's really useful, too. Emperor of Mankind level swordsmanship right there. <laughs> oh! That, that straight up is a homing attack. Multi-hit homing attack. <laughs> That'd probably That's speed up a lot of the character bosses. For anybody that's played light mode or dark mode, that makes Sonic and Shadow's respective boss fights way easier. Yeah. Or not easier, but less tedious. You wouldn't have to run all the time and use light speed dash. Well, I don't know. I kind of think, like, the uh, boss fight in the Rainforest Zone... God, I forgot the name. White Forest. Light Forest. That one wasn't too bad. It's really the final, like final race or whatever the name of the zone was that one was well that one was more it was obnoxious you know but thankfully this game yeah, seems to be proving solutions for a lot of that yeah 
I mean, some of that's just early 2000s game design, but, you know. I don't know, like, overall Sonic Adventure, I still wish they kind of returned to that formula. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you and every Sonic fan that exists that loves the Chow Garden, too. Well, yeah, Chow Garden was... But, In fact, I'm kind of surprised know, I, that the Chow Garden hasn't made made it back as some like, a mobile game or something. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't, because that would be easy money. It like, would be. Buy a hat for your Chow. 99 cents. Do you know how many hats I put on my Chow that aren't just an egg and a pumpkin? Probably... Not many. Not a lot of options. Probably would you would buy as many as there are in Team Fortress 2. I mean, yeah, just make the Chow Garden Team Fortress 2 hat simulator, but on your phone. Yeah, put it on the phones, and then you're set. You pretty much just have the easiest money in the world. I mean, yeah, Sega, they're missing out. So I am excited, Fantasy Star 2 is now on the PC, so we might have to, you know... Oh, God, that. that game apparently has a mess of a PC port. Oh, God, I hate hearing that, but I also have Fantasy Star. Right, um, but still, like, apparently the Xbox version is more stable, but... PC release apparently is not good. Yeah, my buddy's already playing it on the Xbox, so I'm like, okay, I finally can get it on my PC, so we don't play. Well, you know me, I don't read the news too much. Right, and but, uh, but at least we have games like this that are able to provide ample entertainment for all of us. Oh, totally. Get the other potion. Get the other potion. Wait, there get was the a... other potion. Oh, so you actually have to go to collect it. My bad. Yeah. But that's one thing I noticed in this game. It doesn't really give you good collection aura. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Might get you from, for you a few pixels away, but don't yeah, like you have to be pretty next to the item in order to be able to get it. Am I getting I a, a rival that, boss? Really. Give me the catalyst now, or I will cut you down. As if I would ever be afraid of you. If you know what's good for you, just walk you know away. What's good for you? You'll just walk away. I don't want to have to kill you. There's no. There's no way I'm letting some asshole from the church take this thing. Wow. Dave's vault, bitch. She is, she's is. she got a mouth on her. I came all the way here to get away from the church. Okay, so there's a church allegory thing here. Uh, very fantasy, sci-fi type of aesthetic. This is really interesting. I'd like to learn more about this. Oh. Yeah, and she's in the story, too. Wow. Oh, great. Oh, hello. Corrupted okay, boss so fight. This is pretty much warp stone, and she's about to mutate. Oh, Jesus! Okay, you played Undertale. You can dodge that. I haven't played Undertale. Really? I've never played Undertale. Surprised. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? I haven't played Undertale. You high? I thought you played Undertale. I was like, dude, you beat the flowey boss. That That's like the main attack you dodge. It's super easy. No, I haven't. You're thinking of somebody else, friend. Sorry. I'm not yeah, mad. I'm just, just a yeah. bit confused why you'd think I played Undertale. Not that it's a bad. Yeah, not that I think it's a bad it game. Not. It's just I'm surprised. Oh, okay. So they got like five poise balls. Ah, uh, I didn't even Maybe notice. Oh, okay. Because they're not. Oh, because big health bar. That makes sense. Oh, come on. I missed. Yeah. I would just stay at a distance. Don't attempt to get close and then just charge attack and get away. Right, again, like, even Jesus, though but... even though this has been touted as Devil May Cry style combat, this is definitely not, you know, the Devil May Cry I'm familiar with, which isn't a bad thing. It's just... Yeah, like, you've already got her down to halfway. Use your other potion and get out of there. Yeah, I just have to... This is just a different system that I have to get used to. Dead. Yep. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, like, I had to, like, if you go down to half... Heal. Yeah, gotcha. Heal you. Right. Also, it looks like they pretty much skip the whole dialogue if you're going on repeat boss fights, which is very that nice. nice. I love that, that is that is wonderful. I like that. Yeah, I'm just wondering which chaos god that warp stone is going to attribute them to. Yeah, you probably don't get oh. that from Stone. <laughs> oh, well. There you go. Did I just step off this person's head? <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, I, I love it. That. Oh, that is a nice God, move. they're fast. Okay, so if she 
the downward smash, you lose half of your health. Yeah, pretty much. Like another good lesson: if they're above you, run. Yeah, and <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out is the parry, like, like the block or don't parry. Don't worry about parry. You know, block works. Right. So don't even try. Just just block. If you have to. For the most part, just stay away from her. And yeah, just just use your sword skills, use your magic, and then when she lands, maybe hit her with a charge attack. Ow. Yeah, you were in the wrong direction for that one. There you go. <laughs> About to say, dude, if you are standing on that vine. I know. I have to know video game. I have big gamer. I have big gamer peen. Okay, okay, use your potion, you're below half health. What's throwing me off as well is that apparently the um, the button to get yourself out of like the stun state is A, but I'm not used to that. It's like, press A quick, but your character stays there? Yeah, I mean, it is kind of odd. Like, there should be maybe a one and a half second knock time, but if you hit A, you're like automatically flipped up. Yeah. And flipped forward like a really... And the thing is, you're flipped forward like a super long distance at that. Like, it's not... Like, it isn't just like... Uh... Ah, shit. Like, it's not... Uh... I wish I had a duck button. That would be super useful for something like that. Yeah, if, you like know, a... down with duck instead of parry. That would make some of the platforming here a little easier. Yes. I, w okay. I would go ahead and pr prep that uh, potion, my dude. Yeah, run. Oh, God. I am getting so much anxiety watching you. <laughs> oh, fuck. You can ch they can change directions on me for the final attack. Yep. Yeah. Like an actual <laughs> sword swing. I so, am a big gamer, know. guys. I'm big gamer, lad. I can do this. Dude. Just, as I said, patience. Don't charge it. Like, just sit back. Most of the ranged attacks aren't hard to dodge. And just, when it's standing still or just lands like that, hit it with a charge attack and run. See? Like, and even if you did get hit, you didn't lose a lot of health this way. Until it got close. Yeah, okay, so so the block can be broken if the attack is strong enough. Yeah, so you can take two hits, it seems. And then you, you know, lose it. Okay, go use them potions. There you go. You just use the other potion. <laughs> Dude, that timed perfectly. I am perfect timing game more. There you go. Smack that. What? 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 <laughs> Excuse me? Halfway... Uh, okay. Halfway okay. mark? Okay. Time for honorable battle. Use the momentum of my attacks to move forward! That wasn't even her true form. <laughs> Technically, they revealed it's a guy in the cutscene. I don't care. It wasn't her true form. Right. Like, well, I mean, then again, it's kind of hard to tell gender via armor. Because there's no... You're right. In reality, it really is. Yeah. But That's why fantasy uh, settings usually tell, have tell boob plate. Globular chest plate. So it's like long hair, globular chest plate. Because it doesn't look like, you know... Uh, crest on the helmet like that doesn't look like horse hair that looks like someone's actual hair coming out of the back of it yeah so i'm like you know that that, that might be a woman that might that might be a woman's yeah that, that might be a woman in the armor what would be and, a you know, okay a so okay one thing that i kind of wish that i'd be able to do is to be able to ref to hit the projectiles back at the boss because that's Probably also a parry. That's because that's another Devil May Cry 
uh, thing that can happen with boss fights. I mean, that might be what their parry system would allow you to do, but that's yeah. Just, but it's but really again, difficult to pull off, and you do better when you're not experimenting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Experimenting is for my own time, and this is not the time for it. Yeah, sorry for being a bit of a scrub lord on this. And uh, if the developer is watching this video right now, sorry, sorry that I'm being a big scrub lord on your game. Yeah, I mean, they made a game they knew would have a challenge. So, if anything, they they're probably happy that their first boss actually is making you learn the ropes. Yeah, if anything, a boss that teaches you its mechanics is the is a proper boss. Ow. Yeah, like there's no issue with. A, thank God you dashed out of that. Yes. No issue with a boss that can teach you some mechanics, but yeah, it. Yeah. Ow. You are. You are. I want you to hand me your controller. <laughs> I can't. I can't teleport. And also, I'm. I... <laughs> You've only been watching the gameplay. Again, it's kind of odd. I don't know what's wrong with my timing here. Well, one, you're staying too close to the boss. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, the real strategy here is make the boss come to you. And remember, the third hit on that chain always reverses. Wait for the third hit, then come in and hit it. Right. Like, if you charge in, you're going to get punished. So you just have to do little pokes. And then you break all of the balls. And when the balls are broken... You busted my balls, you know. dude. You busted my balls. Yeah. Sorry, couldn't help myself. Ow. You know, you were screwed there anyway. But... Yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of caught in the corner. Ow. Yeah, like that's the thing. This is a boss where you don't want to be jumping around. You don't want to be getting close. Just wait out the attack chain and then punish it. Right. And it looks like the, the ending hit of that person's combo actually changes if I'm in front or behind them, so that's neat. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, you gotta hit in on that second hit, but to oh. me, that's just too big of a risk. Like, if they're doing those little three-hit combos, get out of there. Phase two. Now use everything you've learned. Ow. There you go. Again, just stay back. I wouldn't fall so far like they go above you, but yeah, like just there you go. See, like there's your three hit combo, and you can hit right afterwards. You like? Oh come on! Frame. I did, I was just shy of hitting that yeah, charge attack. So Use your like light. Actually, no, just just hammer. Use that shield again. That did some good damage. I oh did it! God, you did it! You did it! There we go! Oh God! Whoo! Just there had to go, go a bit silent there. Yeah, no, no, I I get the silence. You had to concentrate on that. Yeah. Oh, you're back. Do you have that catalyst? Not broke. Nah, it it broke. what? How in the world did I said it broke? Now let's please okay. just get out of here. Don't you remember? We're out of fuel, right? Okay, there we go. That's the end of the demo. All right, well, that was a nice bit of fun. Yeah. And, yeah, this game definitely has a lot of potential. Cool main character, the combat feels really fun, and as you heard my gamer nutting earlier, yeah, the, the, it feels really good when you can pull off some stylish shit. So I what, like pulling off stylish shit. Yeah. So what do you think, Jordan? What do you think of this game? I mean... It looks good. It, it does... Um, again, it, it's two years out, so I'm expecting to see a lot of changes. Yeah, that's the other thing, uh, is that um, the Kickstarter for this game has you know. been funded for, like, the base funding, uh, but this game is not slated to come out until 2022, so there is a long time for this game to be, you know, worked on and patched up in any regard, and, you know, as a small suggestion... 
uh, maybe put the demo on Steam if you're going to have it on a platform like that. No. It'll no, make no, no, it. No, no. I'm going to say this. Wait until you're probably in your like fourth or fifth. I'm guessing this is pre alpha, but wait until you're in your fourth or fifth alpha build. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's, yeah, that's what I meant. I meant like when you when you when you're comfortable yeah. enough with your final build of the demo, release it on a larger platform uh, yeah, for people right to now, be able to try it. This is still too early for that. Yeah, it, it, this is a bit early to be able to put it out there, but put it on. Put your demo out on maybe the Switch or out on Steam, or just make your demo available on almost all platforms or the ones I'm that you're. Sure they will when it comes time for you know preparing to release, probably like four or five months before. The actual release date they'll put out the demo yeah and on top of that uh having your demo be available on larger platforms means that people can experiment with the combat and maybe upload some cool uh combo videos eh? yeah but that's that's far off just looking at the product right now i'm impressed like it's a pretty good product i can tell they need to do some asset work there's a few things that look a little rough around the edges but i'm not even pointing them out because as you said, this is pre-alpha, and it's running smooth. Oh, God, yeah. That's the running smooth. It is butter smooth. So if this is what they're capable of creating in pre-alpha, I'm excited to see what actual alpha builds of the game are going to be. I actually don't know if, like, beta is closer to release. I think that, I think that is. I think beta is closer to release. Is, like, I can't wait for the beta. Because by the time they get to the beta stage, this will probably be a really well polished game. Oh God, yeah. But um, at that point, you know, like this could be, a re you know, like another good Symphony of the Night successor. Yeah, all I know. Yeah, just another fun, a fun Metroidvania that you guys could be able to play and. Hopefully this video has shown uh, the potential of this game. And if the developer is watching this video, thank you for encouraging me to make a video on your game. Uh, I apologize again for being a complete scrub lord when it came to that boss fight, but you know, you but, live and you, know, you learn. At least you being a scrub lord has given him like a first time player's experience with the boss fight they created. So who knows? They might make some changes to the battle, add some new combos. Or Maybe. something just based on your performance. So that would be cool. Maybe. But what I can certainly say is that you have a lot of potential in this title. I look forward to all of your developments on this. And if you want to check out the Kickstarter, you know, the Kickstarter, I will link in the description below. And I will also uh, link our social medias if you want to follow us on any content we might be doing. And yeah, be sure to support this game and be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see us do more videos like this. Yee yee. So, yeah, with that being said, catch you later, guys. Stay safe.